Hi, it's Dave again with DRH Acrylic Creations. Today I'm going to be doing a test run for some colors I'm going to be using on a collaboration piece that'll air on March 26th, uh, starting at noon and with myself at 12.10. So I hope you tune in for that. Uh, there'll be more information up, available on my community page if you want to check that out. Um, but the colors are going to be listed here in just a second. But let me talk to you what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to do a swipe with a an under color. Now this is going to be my first time using this pigment. It is from the Stuck Up Pig um, lineup and it is called Boastful. It's a beautiful green uh, with a blue and teal shift and a little bit of gold in there. Very interesting color. I'm excited for you to see it. Um, and on top of that, once I have that swipe down, I'm going to do a transfer swipe of a, the rest of the palette. So this should be an interesting piece if I keep myself in, con in control and don't over transfer. So without any more delay, let's get you down to see what the colors are gonna be and get started. Let's talk quickly about the colors. First on from the top, this is Interference Gold by Golden. This is Oxide Black by uh, Amsterdam. This is Boastful by Stuck Up Piggies. This is uh, Vineyard Violet Shimmer by Porridge Posse. This is Diaxazine Purple by uh, Josonia. This is Pr uh, Persian Autumn Yellow by Porridge Posse. And this is just in case I need it. This is Payne's Gray by Amsterdam. Our selectivators are Titanium White and Oxide Black, both of them Amsterdam, mixed with three parts of Australian Floetrol. Okay, let's switch over to a voiceover. This is PPG Multi Pro. It's my go-to right now for pillow paints. I've used different pillow paints in the past that work equally as well, uh, but I really love the consistency of this and I especially love the price of it. Okay, it's gonna be my faux pillow. This is Oxide Black by Amsterdam, mixed with my Porium Medium, which is Vosper Ultra uh, High Gloss and Verithane Polyurethane Triple Thick. I put down a nice swath just all the way across. I chose on this one to break it up and go from both sides in. And you're going to see here in just a second that it probably wasn't the wisest thing I could do. I left a nice little line in the middle of it where it came together. But it worked out at the end. The reason I use these these faux pillows is twofold. Number one, it uh, is cost effective because it's much easier to buy one pillow paint and then do a full pillow over the top uh, as far as the cost factor. Number two, uh, when you use it correctly and you scoop and drag, you get the, the opportunity to create depth with the that second color coming in from underneath. So it's a twofold. First thing going to be down is going to be uh, my new uh, stuck up piggy, which is called Bolsful. Bolsful is a beautiful color. Uh, it is green. You can see here it almost looks like a gray green here. Uh, it is green, but when it shifts, you're going to get a little bit of green. You're going to get a little bit of teal. You're going to get some blue. And at one light, you can see almost there a little bit of green. Uh, gold so it's a uh, interesting color so I'm going to be using this more often second to that is this because it's a what is called a chroma pigment uh, it is opaque meaning that it's by itself is not see-through uh, and the light refracts from it uh, because of that that means that I can use it as a base pillow just by itself so this is something I'll look at in the future. It looks much better with a black background behind it because if it does get thin, 
then uh, you aren't seeing white pop through. That's my opinion. Uh, there are experts out there who might disagree. You see that, that green? That is just one dynamic color. I'm just trying to get a nice, even swipe. Okay, I'm going to clean off the back of the tool again, and I'm going to load it up with my black oxide black cell activator. Now, what's going to happen with that is I'm going to make another swipe across the entire surface of the uh, of the, the boastful, and that will create create cells that will not really be in your face. It, it, all you'll see is the, the cells in that black and that, that uh, the green uh, bolster. So this is my goal. This is very similar to the swipe technique that you'll see in, in other forms of fluid art. Trying to get those cells to open up and give me something to work with. Okay, we fast forwarded just a little bit. I have created a puddle over on my second board to make a swipe and get some cells going over there. What's going to happen is I'm going to do a transfer swipe. Now, transfer swipes are not my forte, and I think I've said that in other videos. It's something I've got to work on, uh, and I'm going to continue to work on. The thing about transfer swipes that I like the best is I can control where the paint goes to. Now, I've used an awfully broad tool to do my, uh, my swipe with. In my effort to keep this video uh, short, I'm going to speed the next part up quite a bit. So this is four times faster, and as you can see, you can see what I'm doing. Uh, I'm transfer swiping the off of that board and to create some flow and compositional uh, interest over the boastful, which is that bottom swipe. Now I picked up my, my smaller, smaller tool and I'm gonna start scooping and dragging. It's to open up cells and create some, uh, some flow. This process is not fast and it takes uh, some concentration uh, I don't do very well trying to speak and paint at the same time. Uh, much like a, a drummer who has a hard time chewing gum and walking at the same time. Kind of the same thing. Okay, I'm going to get some more spinning going on here. Took quite a bit of time to get enough paint off the surface, but it's about time for the flyover. As you can see here, I did get some very nice gradation of, of the colors. Um, and there is a, some very interesting cell work in here. And I love the interplay of the gold here. So it's... Um, it's, it's, it, time will tell as this thing dries. 
and we can see what a final product looks like. Well, that was a lot of fun. I, I have to tell you, there were some surprises with it for me. Uh, I, the, uh, the composition as a whole, I felt was just too busy. And that was caused from over transferring from my, my transfer swipe. And you know, so this is a learning curve and I'm still trying to get the, uh, get more success with the transfer swipe. This was close, but you know, still, I'm not sure that it is exactly what I wanted to see. Well, with that said, there are some beautiful parts to this piece. Uh, if my eye knew where to land on it, it would be, it'd be, I considered a great piece. It dried beautifully. And I'm gonna show you that in just a second. But overall, uh, the boastful didn't shine through as much as I would have liked to seen it. And I think that I'm going to uh, spend some time and maybe do a second pick piece on this before the collaboration piece, just to make sure I kind of refine things a little bit. Time for the dried results. Now, the things that I really like about it, the gold on this side and the cells I got throughout the, the gold is, if the rest of the piece was like this, I'd be ecstatic. Now, you get to notice that my swipe doesn't give you any place for your eye to land. There's flow there. The flow does uh, create interest, but there's so much flow that I'm not entirely sure that this is a piece that people would look at and say, oh, I really like that. My opinion. Over on this side is the about the only place. You see a little bit of the boastful here. You see the little bit of the boastful behind here and maybe along the, the top here, but um, not enough of it. I really, that's what I wanted to showcase and that's not what happened. If you have any questions, I'd invite you to put them down in the description below. And please, uh, as always, make sure you s smash that subscribe button uh, and ring the bell for notifications of videos that I put out. Uh, it's absolutely free. It doesn't cost a dime. Uh, and it really does help with the YouTube algorithm. So until next time, I hope you have a great day. And thank you very much for being here.